from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Have I ever had sex with an illegal alien? You bet. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that he is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. This story from the Associated Press. More women in their early 40s are childless. And those who are having children are having fewer than ever before, according to the Census Bureau. You know this? In the last 30 years, the number of women aged 40 to 44 with no children has doubled from 10% to 20%. And those who are mothers have an average of 1.9 children each, more than one child fewer than women of the same age in 1976. The Report, Fertility of American Women 2006, is the first from the U.S. Census Bureau to use data from an annual survey of 76 million women, ages 15 to 50, allowing a state-by-state comparison of fertility patterns. About 4.2 million women participating in the survey, which was conducted from January through December 2006, had had a child in the previous year. The statistics could be used by state agencies to provide maternal care services, the report said. The survey found that in 2006, women with graduate or professional degrees recorded the most births of all educational levels. About 36% of women who gave birth in the previous 12 months were separated, divorced, widowed, or unmarried. 36%! I do like this one. Unemployed women had about twice as many babies as working women. <laughs> I'll bet they did. Although women in the labor force accounted for the majority, 57% of recent births. Only a quarter of all women who had a child over the past year were living below the poverty level. Finally, the poor chicks get the idea. If you can't afford to have a baby... Put a cork in it. Coupled with fertility data collected biannually, the report also revealed longer-term trends, including how second-generation Hispanic women are having fewer babies than their foreign-born grandmothers and first-generation American mothers. Very nice. Differences among states also emerged. California, Nevada, Texas, Arizona, Florida, Illinois, New York, and New Jersey had a greater percentage of foreign-born women who became mothers in 2006. Shocker. A bigger share of women in the Southeast and Southwest who gave birth in the year prior to the survey did so in poverty. Okay. Bottom line here. It's in the lead of the story. More women in their early 40s, childless. Those who have children have an average of one fewer child than women did 30 years ago. And I think that's a good thing. You know what? If you want to be financially successful, you need to have less children. Some people should have no children. Some should have one or maybe two, and that's it. This idea of having three, four, five, six children is just insane. We don't live on farms anymore. You don't need to uh, give birth to future farm hands. Having babies costs money. And you shouldn't be having babies you can't afford to have. It's just that simple. 
I think this is good news. More women having fewer children. More will, women having no children. Don't you think that's good news? Tom Lightyear's. 1-800-5800-TOM 1-800-5800-866 I just hate the fact that you're spewing forth your nonsense over the airwaves and that my son is addicted to you. The Tom Likas Show The Tom Likas Show at one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number More women now in their early 40s are childless those who are having children are having fewer than ever before. That's good news, isn't it? It's good news. That's a good thing, right? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. By the way, the longer you hold out about getting married and getting into a relationship, the more likely it is, the chick will not be able to have a kid. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm... I'd be lying if I didn't say the following to you, okay? I have told chicks. I mean, come on. You're over 35. Uh, you can have a kid with Down syndrome or a kid who's autistic. You don't want that. Yeah, I've said that. It's true. That's the best part of it. It's true. After 35, you should not be having kids. I don't care what Madonna did. I don't care. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Chris of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how are you, buddy? I'm great, Chris. Oh, uh, just, Tom, I know you're an atheist and all, but I have just got to say thank the good, sweet Lord for this news, buddy. You have made my day. Thank you so much. Um, I especially wanted to say, you know, the Mexican-American women having less. I'm a Mexican-American man myself. I'm 28 years old, Tom. I've never been married. I've never had a kid because I can't afford one. I, I want to go in and get my master's degree. I've already got my bachelor's degree. You know, I've got a career in front of me. I, why would I want to have kids? And I just think this is the best news I've, I've heard in a while, buddy, and I'd like to thank you. Uh, now, I, how, have you how have your parents and grandparents reacted to that? You know, my parents are uh, they're college educated also, so you know they're okay with it. They're we're a very unusual Mexican American family. You know, they want me to go out, get that education, make that money, you know, get myself started in a career, and then when I'm ready, then they want me to go out and get. So they've been very supportive of me. My grandparents a little bit more old fashioned. You know, they want me to. You know, they'd rather that I uh, had a family, but they understand though. So they've been pretty supportive, actually, to tell you the truth. I think that's fantastic. The reality is you never have to have kids or get married. You know that. No, absolutely. And I, I just, you know, I, I've told them before, you know, if it never happens, I'm perfectly okay. You know, I've got friends. I've got, you know, girls that I can call up and, and hang out with. But I don't ever have to get married. So, you know, Tom, thank you very much for taking my call. First time, long time. And in honor of the men's basketball team for the USA, can you take me out Kobe style? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Brandon on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm First doing time okay. Listener. I've only been listening for about three months. Thank you, Brandon. My God, brother, I just wanted to say I think it's really awesome that you read those articles and you do your information, and uh, hopefully some intelligent girls are listening and get a clue that maybe they should think twice before they just go off and try to have children. Yep. Uh, I mean, really, uh, for guys, you want to avoid that as long as you possibly can uh, for any number of reasons, not the least of which is you want to avoid paying for it. Absolutely. Hell, if you have to be in a permanent relationship... You're better off being with somebody who already had their kids and got their tubes tied so you won't be financially responsible. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm only 26 years old, and um, I've, had, uh, I've had a close call, and uh, I'm really glad that, that uh, you know, I was responsible and took care of the way I was. I, you know, I'm trying to be an entertainer and stuff like that, so it's, you know, my, my income isn't very steady, so it wouldn't be smart for me to go out and try to have kids and, you know, blame it off or it off of my parents that they could never support. Did you dump that bitch when she got pregnant or almost got pregnant? 
Uh, actually, I uh, went with her and we got it taken care of. And uh, I, you know, I try to be as supportive as I, as, as I could for uh, as long as I could. But the truth is, I'm single and uh, I need to be single to focus. And uh, it's just so much more better that way. Jesus. It is more better for all intents and purposes. Tom, you're a great guy, man. I'm, you know what? I've only been listening for a few months, and it, I think it's really hilarious when I m meet a girl, and they're fans of your show, and uh, they, you know they know everything about the bullpen and the whole night, and they still want to hang out with me, Davey. I think it's, I think it's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it, Brandon. Hey, man, can you take me out bond style, Tom? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Conrad on the Tom Likas show. Hey, what's up, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing okay. That's good, man. Uh, yeah, I was wondering uh, what you're talking about about the women having kids. Is that under forty or over forty? Um, it's women in their early forties are yeah. childless. More women in their early forties are childless. Because yeah, uh, I hope I hope the younger girls start looking at that and start uh doing the same because man i live in riverside california and these younger girls out here are pooping out kids like crazy man it is nuts <laughs> I, I swear man like you see you'll see like a, a a girl walking down the street a young girl walking down the street with a stroller with at least two like little barefoot kids walking down the street with them it's crazy I oh suck. boy i bet they have two different fathers too yeah seriously man <laughs> yeah I just, want, I just want to share that with you man and uh Thanks, Tom. Uh, I've been listening to your show a lot. I like your show. And uh, I was wondering if you could take him out with the bong soak and Snoop Dogg. I certainly can, Conrad. Here you go. Biatch. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Steve on the Tom Likas show. What's up, Tom? Not much, Steve. Listen, um, I agree with most everything you ever said in the past and in the present. I mean, I'm a huge fan, big listener. I just have a question about this, uh, this whole thing. I mean, kids are not for everybody. That's a given. We all know that. But for some people, it works. Having too many kids is not for anybody. No, too many. You're absolutely and right. And having, ch by the way, two is enough. Well, you're, you're absolutely right with that. But kids in general, it works for some people. Uh, some people are going to have kids, but what I'm saying is having three, four, five, six kids is crazy and unnecessary. You're absolutely right. You know, that's getting kind of ridiculous with the more than four kids. But you know, what, what, they, they, people don't live on family farms anymore. They don't need to have kids to help them, uh, you know, till the fields. Yeah, I, I think it's... Uh, Unfortunately, but it's a lot of the, um, and I'm not saying this in any kind of derogatory manner, but it's a lot of the ethnic families that it's the tradition to have a larger family. And they can't break that tradition. Well, you can break the tradition when you're living here. You're not living in an agrarian society. No, oh, but tradition is a tough thing to break. Well, you know, especially it, when you got parents and grandparents. That's what I'm here for. When you have these guys, the parents and the grandparents, they come here for support, and I give them support. You don't have to be married at 21. You don't have to have four, five, and six kids. You don't have to do it. Absolutely right. You don't have I, to live in poverty. Uh, you're absolutely By right. By the way, that. I lived in poverty. My family had four kids. My parents couldn't afford four kids, but they did it anyway. You gotta know when to do it, you know, if, if you're emotionally and financially. There's ready never for any it. need. You know what? The less kids you have, the more attention you can pay to all the kids. I agree. I agree. If you're going to have kids, why not have the most quality experiences you can? And the best way to do that is not to have six of them. You think about that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? First Great. time, long time. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to say I disagree with your show today. Anybody at the age of over 28, 35, and you're looking to have kids when you're, what, 40? You, you want to be 60 with a 21-year-old kid? How you gonna, a 20-year-old kid, what are you going to do? Go, how are you going to play sports with your 15-year-old son when you're 55 years old? You know, I mean, come on. You guys well, have already lost your youth. You guys are worried about paying I'm, for I'm children. not having any kids, so it isn't me. Don't call it you guys, because I'm not having any kids. But you agree with these callers. 
And I, I do. Find that it's, ab- it's absurd that these callers would call and say that they can't afford. You, can't, you guys don't want to pay for your children. That's all part of the obligation. Well, in this day, in this day and age, no one said that. That's that is the law. But the fact is, the more kids you have, the more it costs. And many people have more kids than they can afford because they refuse to look at kids the way they look at refrigerators or iPods or or anything that costs money. Kids are an expense. Let me say this. The average cost of a child from birth till 18 is over a million dollars nowadays. I'm 28 years old with two kids. I want 10 more. I'm not, I don't even have so a So are you going to have $12 million? Are you going to earn $12 million in your lifetime? No, you're not. I don't have a high school diploma. I don't have a college education, and I will pay for it. It is the most joyous thing How in my will you life get to twelve? Children. Where are you getting $12 million from? It comes, it goes. It no, comes, it, it goes. doesn't. You will never have $12 million. What do you do for a living? I'm a pool man, and I love my There job. is not a pool man on earth who's earned $12 million in his entire life. There isn't one. Yeah, but tell me that there's somebody out there who's going to have 10 kids and be able to afford it. Like That's I my said, point. No one is financially or mentally You can't. Ready to have one thing is for sure, you can't afford it. Yeah, drop, See, dropping, dropping chlorine tablets, dropping chlorine tablets, people's pools, checking their pH is not going to get you to $12 million. It's not. But you know what? Go off, get your get your education, go get your schooling, and before you know it, it's too late. You're dying at 42 of a heart attack, and you have a two-year-old kid at home. So what? You're going to have 12 kids, and you're not going to have any money to support them? Oh, I'll have money to support them. I have two kids right now. I don't even have a, a, an education whatsoever. You just said you want 10 I more. Happier, I am You just said you wanted 10 more. You just education. said you wanted 10 more kids. I would, but my wife won't let me. I'd love to. Your wife I'd won't let you. So you're already pussy-whipped. Oh, I'm not pussy whipped. Sure you are, 28. My my wife won't let me. Mommy uh, said no. <laughs> Mommy said no. Mommy said I can't have any denial. kids. Mommy Everyone said I wanted to have kids, and I went to Mommy, and Mommy said I can't have kids. Wife. Can't do that. Did he curse? I didn't hear it. Zero tolerance. Yeah! <laughs> didn't hear it. He got pissed. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Gloria on the Tom Likes show. Hello. Hi Tom, how are you? Great. Um, I love your show. My Thank brother you. got me to start listening to you a few months ago, Very and good. I have to say I agree with most of the things that you say, and especially this subject. I'm thirty two, and I'm also Mexican American. And me, my sister, and two of my cousins have all decided that we don't want to have kids. And my cousins are all in their 20s. I made the smartest decision I ever made in my life last year when I got my tubes tied. So, That's fa- I, I, now, how did, how did your family react to that? How did your, your parents, your grandparents? You know, because um, I, I don't have any kids and I've never been married. And my mom's always wanted grandkids, but she was very really supportive of it. You know, I, after I explained everything to her, you know, I told her, you know, gave her all my reasons. And and I, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Wow. Good for you. So you're single? Yes. And no kids. And and no you're not gonna have kids. Nope. Wow. We don't meet a lot of women like you, Gloria. <laughs> I know, I hear that a lot. People are always surprised when that I don't have kids. That's because you're Mexican American. Exactly. <laughs> How often do you meet a thirty two year old Mexican American with no children? You just don't. That's very rare, I know. I know. So you're having fun, I'll bet. Yes. Tell us about the fun you're having. I want everyone to hear what kind of fun you're having. I mean, I get to go out whenever I want. I don't have to worry about babysitting. I don't have to worry about putting that money aside for, you know, the kids, for the bills, the clothes, all those things. I get to focus on me, and if I want to travel, I can travel. I can just pick up and go, and I don't have to worry about all those things. Uh Uh-huh. And you do. <laughs> Tell us some of the places you've gone recently. Um, last year, we went to Hawaii. Um, this year, we went, uh, went to Florida. Wow. And, like I said, just me and my cousins, and all of us are of the same, uh, same mindset. I love it. And how's your sex life, dear? Um, great. It's even better because, I mean, of course, I still use protection because of all the you know STDs and everything. But it's just great knowing that I don't have to worry about... If, you know, a condom doesn't work or something, I don't have to have that worry in the back of my head. 
How great is that? Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> Sounds good to me, dear. Yeah, my cousin is actually jealous because I got that done. <laughs> yeah, wait, does your cousin have kids? No, she doesn't either. Maybe she needs to have it done. Yeah, she well, she wants to, actually. She was telling me, I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Look at that. Time to take her by the hand into the doctor's office. Yeah. Sounds good to you. And by the way, financially, how are you doing? Um, good. You yeah. have a good job? Yeah, uh, court reporter. Court reporter. That pays pretty well. Yeah. And you get to spend it on traveling, and you get to put some money away, and I'll bet you've got like a 401k or an IRA. Yeah, and like you, I get to spend it on whatever toys I'd like. <laughs> well, I love that. you have any good toys lately? Um, I just bought a motorcycle. <laughs> Look at you! Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Sounds great. Yeah. Well, thank you, darling. It sounds wonderful. I, I totally love it. Thank you, Tom. All right, we'll talk soon. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Vince on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's up, man? Not much, Vince. How you doing, man? I love your show, man. You got the number one show in the whole wide world, man. Thank you. You really make sense. Thank you for that. Okay, there's my story, sir. Check it out. Okay, like, I've been with this girl for six years. Like, it's been, like, a very rocky road. I wish I knew any better, but, like, I just started listening to your show probably, like, like, probably like a year ago. You know, I'm like, I have the kid with her already. You know, why, like, why, I love why my did, daughter. Why, why'd you do that? You know, Tom, like, I don't know any better, man. Like, I was very, like, immature, man. Really, I was. You and know? you thought having a kid was a good idea? Well, yeah, you know, like, I thought, like, things would be better, you know? But no, man, you know, like, things getting kind of, like, rocky again. I, like, it's more work at home. You know, I'm like, I just want to let all the guys know, man, don't have kids, uh, you know, like, until you're all ready, man. Or else, man, it's a different ball game. You know, like, I work 12 hours a day, 12 hours a day. Okay, that's my regular job. I love my job. I go home, and I think I'll do work at home, too. You know, I'm like, it's not an easy thing to do, man. You know, I'm like, I love you, show. Sure. Like, I just want to all the guys know out there, man. You know, it's like, be careful which girl you date or, like, which girl you marry, man, because it gets very tricky sometimes. You didn't get married, did you? No, 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 no. I am not going to get married, man. I am not married, man, because, you're like, I've been listening to your show, Tom, and, like, I'm like, it's so, like, you are so right, man. You're like, my, my girl also loves you, too. You know, but, like, you know, like, things happen, Tom. You know, I'm like, now, it's like, we're both getting with it. You know, I'm like. No, but just, things happen because you make them happen. They don't happen by accident. You're right. I, yes, okay, you're right. You're like, I chose to, like, I chose to walk that way, you know? You know, but, like. You chose you know, like, it, and now you hate it. Yeah, it's like, I hate it in a way, but, you know, like, there's nothing I can do about it, Tom. You know, like, I'm going to stick with it. Like, I'm taking care of my daughter. You know, I'm like, I go out probably, like, like, twice a month, me and her go out. You know, I'm like, sex is great. You know, like, you know, but, like, other than that... Have you, know, you found like, out Have you found out where the drugstore is so you can buy a condom? Well, you know what, like, I've been using, okay, like, I've been using condoms, a lot of condoms lately, man. I do use condoms, man. I totally use condoms. I totally listen to you, man. It's just, you know, like, if I knew you six years ago, oh, my gosh, like, I would have been a baller. Like, I would have so much money, man, if I knew you six years ago. You know? Damn but, straight you would. Then oh, you, yeah, then you could buy I Then you could buy all the products I advertise. Excuse me? Then you could buy all the products I advertise. Of course I would. Definitely, definitely. You know, but now, Tom... You know, like, I was still listening. I was still listening to your show, man. I'm like, keep doing the good job, man. Keep it up, Tom. Okay? I love you, man. Like, you're number one, man. I oh. like, they should teach this, like, in all the schools all That's around right. the world, man. I also, thank you. Zero tolerance. You're out! So does you say the F word or the S word or the C word, uh, we hang up immediately. And even though we're doing it, uh, ever since we announced the policy, the number of curse words on the air has been 
cut dramatically. So we're going to continue the policy. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Michael on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Great. Uh, I was just saying that uh, people without kids, I mean, I, it's, I respect their decision, but I just think it's a, almost a selfish one. <laughs> well, well, who's coaching you in the background? Let's start with that. Is that your girlfriend there? No. Uh, who's coaching you? I heard it. Who is telling you what to say? Oh, I'm telling me what to say, Tom. I heard it. A bunch of my buddies. There's a bunch of my Tell buddies. Tell them to there. shut up. You're on the air. Hey, guys. Sh- All right. Say it. Say this. Shut up. I'm on the air. Hey, dog. No. No, no. Say what I said. Say, shut up. I'm on the air. Shut up. I'm on the air. All right. You were saying? Oh, no. I just, I mean, I think that, uh. I don't know. Some of these people, some of your callers have been uh, pretty selfish. How so? Who's been selfish? I think that one, I mean, it's a, if you want to live that way, that's fine. But, I mean, I don't think everybody should live that way. That's just my opinion. Like, I don't know. I mean, if... Why would you want, say Why would you say the people who don't have kids are selfish? Well, I mean, if they have it just because they don't want to pay for them or, I mean... I think everybody does what's right for themselves. Right, I mean, Meaning everybody does what's in their own self-interest. People with kids, people without kids. You know what's selfish? People saying, we're so attractive. Can you imagine how beautiful our kid would be? That's selfish. Yeah, I, I also agree with that. Well, that, that. One of the reasons people have kids, to see how beautiful the children will be, to see how smart the children will be. That's not why I would have You kids. have such beautiful eyes. Can you imagine what our kid would look like? Or how about the ones who say, you know what? I don't want our family name to die with me. I'll be the last Smith in the line. Well, I'm, I'm not saying I would have kids for that These reason. are all selfish reasons for having kids. All of them. By the way, pe- everything people do is selfish. People do what's good for themselves. Now, Mother Teresa is dead. People do what's good for themselves. But I thought you were an eight. Anyway, um, what are you saying? You thought I was an atheist? I am an atheist. Um, yeah, see, I, you, you tell your friends to shut up. This is why you're getting yourself in trouble. Because your friends are whispering in your ear, and they're trying to tell you what to say, and you're getting confused. I've been doing this my whole life, son. Don't try to run one by me here. Tell your friends to shut up. <laughs> but I, I right, said I... tell them to shut up. <laughs> this is your last chance. Hey, you guys. What? Goodbye. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Derek on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Derek. How are you doing today? Great. How are you doing today? I'm sick, my friend. I just, you know, wanted to share my story with some of these gentlemen out here because, uh, you know, you can get married and still be successful and still make it and not have kids before you get married and be, you know, I'm 27 years old. Been with the girl for a couple years, and I understand that you say, you know, don't get married before you're 25, so we tried to work that out. But, you know, she's got the money. You know, I work hard. I have, I make good money. I make, you know, around 100000 a year. You know, I'm successful. I work, you know, six, nine months a year to make that kind of money. You know, and I don't have a college education. I work with my hands. But, uh, dude, we're signing a prenup, you know, because it's obviously it's her coin and, she wants to make sure that I'm not after her money, but I'm okay with that, you know. But uh, either way, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, you don't need to be having kids to be married. You know, if you get married, you don't even have to have kids afterwards. And you can Why, why do you up. need to get married? I don't understand. Uh, because I love her. I know this is where it's kind of, you know, I'm not listening to you very well there, Tom, you know. And I know I should know better. Why do I you... I, the question is, why do you need to get married because I to lose nothing you what stand to lose nothing in this situation but but you're also not going to gain anything well you know while we're married things will be different you know <laughs> <laughs> why know what you're saying, man. they're different now why do you need to sign this contract that's a really good question 
need to sign this contract. But for the sake of the marriage and for our love, you know. For your love? <laughs> so you don't love her now? Very much. And she doesn't love you? Well, once you sign a contract that has been given the raised seal of the Secretary of State of the State of California, right. only then will you love her. <laughs> I know. It. Oh, that's funny. Man. I'm asking. I love her before I have to sign the contract, but, you know, the the greater good, let's say. Oh, Jesus, you're killing me, for Christ's sake! Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I've been gone from her for about two years now, and it is just clear saying it is worth it. Now I go out all the time with different girls. It's a blast. Now, I don't know what I was thinking, imprisoning myself. It's the Tom Likas show. Tom Likas. We're here at 1 800 5 800 Tom. A study by the U.S. Census Bureau says that more women in their early 40s are now childless than before. And those who are having children are having fewer than ever before. In fact, an average of one child less than they were 30 years ago. What do you think about that? I think it's great. Daniel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? How you doing? Well, I'm doing good. <laughs> See, it, here's what I think. I think you weren't getting laid when you were younger, and that's why you never had any kids. Oh, is that so? That's right. <laughs> but the fact is, I, I did pay for four abortions, so I was having sex. Ooh. Well, that, that's my consensus on it, because the way I see it, uh, you know, that's what I was doing when I was younger. I was getting it everywhere I could get it, and that's why I ended up having two of my own. Right. And so what? And I think you're just uh, kind of bragging now, that's all. I'm kind of what? You're, you're bragging a little bit. Trying I'm to make all of us out there feel bad that and we have you, Well, you should feel bad, because while you're at Chuck E. Cheese, uh, I'm traveling to, to, to France and Spain and Italy. While you're going to uh, Disneyland and uh, spending your vacation at Legoland. You don't like Disneyland, Tom. Uh, well, put it this way, it's certainly not some place I want to spend all of my time. It's uh, great once in a while when company comes to town and people say, take me to Disneyland. Uh, but I don't want to be obligated to be going all the time uh, or to any other theme park, for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> like you are. Well, that's that's it's good for me. I love it. I love well, having it. You have to say that. Yeah, I most definitely do. You have to say it. Oh, I do say it. I love it. But you have it. no choice. Oh, no, that's not the truth, Tom. Yes, it is. <laughs> I think you're just trying to make us parents out there jealous. It ain't working. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Carlos on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much, Carlos. Uh, just right here chilling at work, you know, just listening to all these people talking. You know, I'm just... Um, I don't agree with it, you know, about having kids. You know, I really uh, disagree in the fact because I've been with a girl who has kids, and, you know, I know a lot of girls that have kids, and most of them are all single. You know, they're all young and single with kids. And, you know, nowadays there's more of guys just leaving the females hanging with, with the kids, and it's, 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 it's not even much to the guy's decision anymore because the guy could just uh, drop them and leave them and be gone. You know what I mean? That's what I would do. And, yeah, well, yeah, you know, and it's like... And it's like, you can't do that, you know, because now... I will it's... never change a diaper. Let me save you some time on this. Never, ever. Yeah, I agree with that, too, you know, and it's like, you know, I, it's like, you know, you got to thank for your parents uh, that they were able to do what they did for you, but nowadays it's not the same as when it is back in the days, you know what I mean? It's like, everything is more pricey, it's just, you know, it's... It's, it's, all, it's all about money nowadays, you know, it's not even... It was, but the thing is, anymore. money was always out there. Not even about but a lot anymore. of people now have discovered that you never have to, what they say, grow up. You never have to grow up. You never have to take on all this responsibility. You can live your entire life without having that kind of responsibility. Exactly. I have, and I love it. Shoot, there's already a bunch of responsibilities out there besides kids, and, you know, you don't need it. You know, kids are just a, an addition, you know what I mean? 
Kids are a subtraction because kids cost at minimum of a quarter million dollars to raise a piece. Yeah, that is that is true. But, you know, it's like I I was listening to that 32 Mexican, you know, I was like, hey, where can I meet her at? Because, you know, that's pretty that's pretty smart. You know, I'd like, you don't, you don't boy, I'd like to meet her you know? myself. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you don't get a lot of females like that on my side over here in LA. 32-year-old you know, because... Mexican-American without children, what is her number? Because hey, I'm Mexican-American, too, you know, and most of the most of the females I meet, you know, they either have kids or they're married re real young, divorced, or, like, you know, single parents, and it doesn't, doesn't happen like that when you're single and you're looking for somebody that's, you know, that doesn't have, you know, the, the extra baggage, you know what I mean? I do indeed. Yes, but, I do. Uh, but, um, you know, it's all good out there. You know, if you want to have kids, have kids. Just make sure you take care of them. If you don't, then more power to you. Have fun. I'll be at the bar. You could meet me there. <laughs> uh, done. Yeah, I probably will, Carlos. Yeah, hey, can you take me out with a bong hit? Thank you, Jesus. I certainly can. Here you go. Thank you, Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. Yeah, I mean, I've been listening to you since uh, you started. Uh, I, I, the reason why I listen to your show is I, I, it's interesting the topics you guys bring up. I, do, I am going to tell you that I do disagree on, on, on with you about half of the time. Um, Especially for people for that haven't been married. I mean, let them go out and experience marriage. I mean, you've been married four times. I mean, you're talking from experience. But if somebody would have told you your first time not to get married, you still would have done it because you, it's something you got to experience. No, you don't have to experience it. You don't. Uh, any more than I have to experience uh, firing a gun into your head uh, to know that uh, how it would feel to kill you. I, I don't need to do that. I don't, I don't need to put my hand into a, an open flame. To find out how that would feel, I don't have to do that. I can imagine what it's like. You see, you say fifty percent of marriage marriages fail, right? But I mean, you, 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 you're four of your marriages have failed. So I mean, you right. contribute you contribute a lot into that fifty. One person contributes. We're talking about time. millions and millions of people. One person does not make any difference. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, everybody has their own opinion, but. I mean, some of the guys that call you and agree with you, they're followers. I mean, they're, they're just, because whipped, uh, Tony, just because you're pussy whipped, Tony, just because you're pussy whipped, just because you're pussy whipped doesn't mean the rest of us are. Right, but everybody has to experience it. No, everybody I mean, does not have to experience it. I mean, I mean, I don't want to get married right now. I mean, I'm single. I just started my career. I don't want to get married, but I do want to get married in the future. Well, you don't have to, and there's no need to, and I don't know why you would want to. Why don't I have to? Because you say what do you, so? Why don't I have to? Because you say so. Is, is there a law that says you have to get married? I mean, I mean, you obviously, you probably, did you come, did you come from a broken family? No. My parents were married 40 years until my dad died. Okay, then. Okay, then what? Okay, then. then, you, then so you then, were wrong about that, weren't you? No, I'm, I mean, I'm not. I, I didn't even say that you probably. Bad came guess. Out. It was just a question. Bad guess, Tony. And then, I mean, and then another thing. Sometimes you bash on, on, on some of the women that call you. You shouldn't bash on oh, anybody. Oh, meow, 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 meow. You should thank meow, every meow, single meow, one of your meow, listeners. Meow, thank meow, 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 Now he's got the radio turned all the way up. Hey, Tom. I love that. Turn that hey, radio Tom. up, Tony. I can't hear it. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tony, turn the radio up. I can't hear it. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tony, turn the radio up. I can't hear it. Hey, there's no reason for you to do that. You have nothing to say. Call Tony. me a moron because usually when you call people a moron, it's because you have nothing to say. Tony, I, I don't think I really called you a moron. You haven't called me more. I'm talking about other people. And listen to what I'm saying. Well, I'm, I'm saying glad you're such a regular you listener. People, I'm glad you're, you're such a regular listener. I am. What was that? 
I said I'm glad you're such a regular listener. Why are you glad? Because we need regular listeners like you. You're not, look, Tom, you're, you're an entertainer. You're here to entertain your clients. Thank you. That's all you are. Thanks. Don't don't talk about right. you go to a party, get all the women you want. You don't. If you want, of course if you I do. The you want, you're fat. You ain't gonna get no women. I get all the women I want. Because of your I get. You I don't care what the reason is. I'm famous because I'm talented, and because I'm talented, I have money. And when I've got money, talent, power, fame, I get women. It's right. that simple. And that's what gets you the women. I I don't care. I don't that's care what gets me the women. It doesn't matter what gets me the women. At least I get women because of something I've accomplished. Unlike you. I get women. What, what have you accomplished? Get? What have you accomplished? What do you do for a living, Tony? I'm an engineer. Ooh, an engineer. What kind of engineer are you? And it's small. It's it's it's, it's a harder profession than broadcasting. Ooh, really? Uh huh. Yeah. How much do you make, Tony? Huh? It doesn't matter how much I make. So, well, why don't you want to tell us if you're making such a good living? It doesn't matter. I don't need to tell you. Why don't you tell me? Tony, you're doing? anonymous. Why? I, well, I tell you, I, at least I make <laughs> seven figures a year minimum. How much do you make? Tell us. Ooh, good for you, Tom. How That's much? To the woman. Not how much? Friend. How much? See, you make crap, and that's why you don't want to tell us how much you make. You don't make anything. I can buy and sell you. <laughs> that, and, and, and by telling people that you can buy and sell them, that, that, you know what you always I do? can that's buy and sell you. That's a fact. Well, I can do it. I can buy and sell you. So before you leave, shine my shoes, you moron. The Tom Likas Show.